Hey, what's happening guys? This morning we're going to take a look at this kit that was sent in by Uncle Rob. This is some sort of a nightlight kit, it says. So Nicely done uh, board there. Hmm. Here are the components. Get it in the bag open. Not much for opening bags. What can I say? So. got resistors of two different values, three different values. We got some standoffs. I see LEDs. The only problem is Mark, yeah, that's good. I guess we can do this. I was, I was getting worried there for a second. I'm thinking like we've got no, no instructions or anything. To put this together, but I think we might be all right. We'll find out. Let me get everything ready, and we'll go. All right, I have my parts laid out and organized pretty nice. And I've measured all the resistors. And we're going to start with the 15K resistor there and the 1K resistor there. So there's my uh, 15K. Get that through the board. Give the legs a little bend. Then we need a 1K. Try and get that guy in there. Good. There's another 1K and a 10K. So let's grab those as well. Here's my 10K. We'll get it in shape there and my final 1K. And we'll get him in there. Good. Now we can start some soldering. I'll be using the uh, MG Chemicals. This is 0.032. And my soldering iron is set for 340. That's Celsius, of course. So this kit, from what I'm seeing of it, seems to have... Some interesting features like a uh, infrared. So I'm guessing there's probably like some different kind of modes on here, or something along those lines. And I'm sure we'll figure that out as we move through here and assemble this guy. Yeah. 
make sure I got all of them. Not bad. Cut them off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of those resistors in. And now I'm going to put in the unmarked resistors. Which are the current limiting resistors for the LEDs. And they are all 330 ohms. You don't have to watch me do this. Alright, so all the LEDs are in. I'm not LEDs. Uh, I see a problem. Look at that. I accidentally soldered that resistor into an LED hole. That's not good. Give me a moment to fix that. Okay, problem solved. Now, if these two are the same, 104, 104, yep. So we'll put them in. C2. Where's the other one? C1. So let's get those guys in. Little ceramic capacitors with them soldered up. You know, just going from the lowest profile to the uh, highest. Yeah, everything looks good there. We'll solder them in. Start this way and work your way up, and then it's easier as you get to the higher components. You don't have to try and thread smaller components in between a bunch of larger ones. Okay, so there we go. Next up we have two of these capacitors, electrolytics. I'm just trying to figure out if they're the same 10 and 10. Yes, they are the same. So, one of them goes here, and the other one <laughs> goes here. We'll get them soldered in next. I know I repeat myself a lot about these different soldering techniques we're using, but I don't know when somebody's watching me build a kit and solder for the first time. So we want to make sure that they have all of the info that they're going to need to succeed. these off just making sure there are no solder bridges no unintentional shorts and I don't see anything all right so what can we do next There's a voltage regulator, 7805, it goes down there. Let's see what we got. That appears to be a transistor. That might be it. Yeah, I think that is it right there. That's a go super zoom and see if we can get it to focus yep 
Professor 7805. And there is the footprint for it. And it's showing us flat end towards the middle of the board, rounded side towards the back of the board. So we want to make sure that we do that if it is uh, placed incorrectly. It's not going to work. Because you're going to have your ins and your, your outs mixed up. Looks good. Get her soldered in here. Good. Now we'll trim off the eggs excess. Now we have two transistors. They are at 8550s. You can look up the data sheets if you want more information about them. Make sure we have everything positioned neatly. Yep. Then we'll do our complete and final solders. Trim off the extra. And we got one more transistor to do. But uh, you don't have to watch me do that one. All right, let's put our IC in here, which is, oh, you won't believe it. It's a CD4017. Well, here's what I find interesting. Where's our clock source to drive it? So maybe there's some sort of a oscillator built out of those transistors, which I thought were being used to switch the loads. But if they're not, that's interesting. There we go. You want to go down in the hall? I'm sorry, these ICs, I just like to solder. Posing corners. Make sure it's where I want it. And a little bit of the flux and it's really quick to just come down through here solder these guys up you can see a lot of uh, discoloration there from the heat on these white PCBs, which is one of the reasons I don't really use them. Come on. It can easily be cleaned off. All right. Nice. Looking good there. So, what else do we have that aren't the LEDs? Well, we have our infrared doohickey. Be a receiver. I know I'd get a ton of crap if I said doohickey and left it at that. 
All right, we get her in there. Good. We'll get it soldered up. You don't have to watch. All right, next up we have two switches. There's switch number one, which looks like we're going to need some, some of Uncle Rob's famous blue tack. Get some blue tack on this guy and hold him in place. And then we can solder him in. This would be much easier to do in a, uh, you know, some sort of clamp vise. But not everybody has that, so I'm just doing it here. I'm not sure, but is there a, is there a solder bridge there? Yes, there is. Did I get it? Yep. No more solder bridge. All right, so we got one more switch. This one's just a uh, standard tack switch. Probably for mode control or whatever. Get it soldered in there. And we have a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack that is supposed to go on the bottom so let's get it in there make sure it's sitting how I want Get it soldered in real quick. Good. And that leaves a 9 volt battery holder here. Trying to figure out which way I should do this. I think probably this way. No. No, everything else is everything else is soldered on the bottom, so we'll go with that. Pardon my waffling around here it's uh currently quarter to five and that would be oh five hundred been up since about three thirties couldn't sleep today so I figured come out and work on a video
Okay, so now we can pull that down. Looking good. And that leaves just our straw hat LEDs. So there is D1 right there. Let me get it soldered. Yeah. Let me get a few more soldered in and I'll get right back to you. All right, here we go. That would be the high power mode. That's the low power mode. And I think that it should fit right back into this box. And it does. And you can access the buttons from in the box, which is pretty cool. Nice. I like that. That's a really cool little kit. It was easy to build. Hey, uh, Uncle Rob, why don't you chime in in the comments and let us know where you found this. So if, if uh, other folks are interested, they can get themselves one of these. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Rob for sending this in. And a big thanks to you for watching the video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.